Hi, I'm Rachel Riley, and I'm here today at the Hearing Dogs for Deaf People Training Centre in Buckinghamshire. And I'm about to go and meet some of the people that train the puppies. I'm going to meet the puppies themselves and see what goes into making a regular puppy a um, working dog that can help change someone's life. I mean, it's not really a hard day's work, isn't it, coming in and, and playing with puppies? You know, the best way of teaching anyone, never mind puppies, people, whatever, is to make them have fun. So apparently there's a lot of playtime. Um, so playing with puppies, yeah, it's a hard job, but someone's got to do it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm a puppy trainer here at the Grange and all we're going to do today is just do a little puppy class with Neil and the rest of his friends and then we're going to do a little bit of uh, obedience work outside, get them to do some recall and heel work and things Great. like that. So. I think Neil's ready. He's ready cool. to go. <laughs> Watch what the other guys are doing. They're going to show them a treat so that it kind okay. of keeps their attention. But he tends to follow the treats a lot. So we could, you could show him you've got one. I've got some here. I've got some. Have you got some? Yeah. Neil. Neil. And then if you're going to, I then put that treat in your pocket so he doesn't follow it because he's going to want to follow that treat. And if you can just stay heel for me and tap your left leg, he should then stay on your left. It's all just playtime to a dog and they can see that all the other puppies are just playing and it's fun for them. So we kind of use play as a way of training them because if they, they, they see it as fun and a game, we can then transfer that to kind of a more formal kind of training when they're older. So is he a 24-7 job for you when you're volunteering? He certainly is, yeah. It's full time and uh, we, it involves sort of feeding him, loving him, two walks a day. You're not the only volunteer that Hearing Dogs have. How many no. of you are there? Uh, there I think there's like over 2,000 now. And um, do you, um, is there a, a big community? Do you give each other in, in, you know, support? Do you yes, have WhatsApp indeed. groups? <laughs> we have uh, what we call field team meetings with Muddy Wellies out there. <laughs> but also there's an internal social media network um, where we can uh, communicate with each other, send cute photographs. And... Do you get to meet the recipients? been fortunate to meet uh, two of ours. You have to build a bond with the puppy to get the best from them, really. So therefore it is very difficult when you hand them on to someone else. Yeah. Yeah, Rachel. I'm Becca. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so we'll be going around the old barn today, doing like a health check and groom, um, and then going into the compound with some dogs. Yes, so please. Let's go. I'm following you. Doing a health check, so we'll go through um, the basics of what we look for. Mm -hmm. um, so for him, I do a weekly health check and groom because uh, he's a spaniel and he's got a long coat, so we need to keep on top of that, didn't we? We are in one of our compounds. Um, we use this as an activity for the dogs um, as part of their day. Yeah. So you can have up to four dogs in each compound, mm -hmm. and you get to spend 15, 20 minutes having a play around. So the reason um, that we do compounds, do activities like this, yeah. um, is to enrich them. And they go into training that they've had their time out to go and relax, do what a dog does, um, and then they get to go on to their training. So. <laughs> An exercise that we're going to do now is one that we do with all of our recipients for their first week when they very first have a dog. It's a really good fun bonding exercise. Especially great for people with family, so we yeah. can pretend that we're a family working together. Stand in a triangle, um, all spread out. I'll hold on to him. If you call him, so give him a good clear, Max come. And when he comes to you, he can have one treat from your pocket, hold on to his collar, and then Polly will call okay. him. So we'll do that a couple of times. Go on, Max, you can do it. He's actually a really cuddly poodle, so he does like a fuss. Um, but whatever the dog enjoys, that's mm. going to be good for him. Ask him to lie down. Wait. See, he's being good for you. Is that because you had, you've had, you trained him for so long, you've got a good bond? Yeah, I guess I mean, he's generally pretty quick to get bonded with new people, but... Well, Max, don't show me <laughs> up, OK? Max, fetch. Oh! Clever boy! Well done! OK, 
Okay, so we're going to go and do some sound work now. Yep. This is a really important part of training for the dogs. Um, again, like we've been doing before, it's all really important that we make it nice and fun so they don't know that they're training. Um, the sound that we're going to do is the alarm clock. Mm -hmm. Nice for you, she can to just lie in bed. <laughs> oh, if I have to. Um, Perfect. So he's going to get a nice reward for waking you up. And then the alarm clock is going to be on the side. So when he jumps on you, he gets a reward. And then you say, what is it? And he'll jump off and then he can have another treat from behind mm, the alarm clock. Okay. okay. Go to sleep. And when hearing dogs were first suggested to you, what did you think it would do? How would it help? What was your first thought? First thought was that she would give me a lot of confidence. I needed something that was going to be by my side. What also does she do for you, you know, from when you get up in the morning to when you go to sleep at night? When I take my hearing aids out, I can't hear anything. First thing in the morning, she comes to the side of the bed and she puts one paw on my chest. Come on, mum, get up, get up. You get a whole Labrador. And you're here today at the Hearing Dogs Training Centre because they don't just give you a dog and leave you to it. You're given a personal instructor who is with you for the life of your partnership. I feel very proud now when I go out because she is part of me and I feel that I represent hearing dogs as well. Mm -hmm. So I like coming over to keep Kelly and my training up. Mm -hmm. What really struck me about today is the amount of people and amount of time and amount of care that goes into making a hearing dog ready for its life to help its recipient. Um, so from the volunteers to the staff that train the dogs, from the dog's point of view they're just having fun, they're playing games, they're getting belly rubs, they're getting their health plate taken care of and they're getting loads and loads of treats. They're clearly loving it um, but every aspect of their day is geared up to that eventual life that they're going to have changing somebody's life forever. Um, so it's been an amazingly fun experience playing with dogs all day um, but it's incredible to think that these dogs are going to go out there and for each individual animal they're going to be changing the lives of a deaf or hard of hearing person. Keep an eye out for the next episode of Hearing Dogs TV. Meet our adorable puppies and find out how they're getting ready to transform the lives of deaf people. Watch more at hearingdogs.org.uk forward slash HDTV.